Hi folks, my name's Ashley. I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you a few of the new things in the latest Construct 3 release 260. Let's jump in. First up, one of the new features we've got in this release is the ability to change the vanishing point. So in previous releases we added uh, some more new 3D features such as 3D shape and uh, changing the vanishing point just gives you a bit more artistic control over how this appears. So for a demo here, I've just got a uh, four sort of stacks of sprites using Z elevation um, to show how they uh, look when they get far away. And as you can see, they uh, move towards the vanishing point in the middle of the screen here. Now, there are new layout properties here to change the vanishing point. So now when I change the vanishing point, I can move the vanishing point where things get further away towards. So you can move it um, relative to the viewport area, which is this visible area here, uh, or the window in, in the runtime, and uh, you can move it on the y-axis and the x-axis, and change where things go when they get further away from the screen. And one thing to note about this, it's um, interestingly, this is changing the direction of perspective. It's not changing the camera angle, so flat things remain flat, it's just changing uh, the direction things move in as they get further away uh, from the, uh, the view. Uh, so that's all well and good, but what can you do with that? Here's a couple of um, examples I've just uh, prepared to show you how you might want to use this in real games. Um, so here's just a quick example of running around with some 3D shapes. If you imagine this like a town with a street with buildings down the sides, uh, you've got a nice top-down perspective here, but that might not be what you want. You might want a sort of a more of an isometric style appearance. So if you then change the vanishing point uh, to be much further down, um, and then as you run around, you can now see the faces of the buildings, even the ones at the bottom of the screen, uh, down here you can see the front faces of all the buildings so this might be a kind of a more appropriate art style for the kind of game you're imagining making one more example uh, if i take the 3d platformer um, example uh, just slightly adapted here and if i jump around here with the um, scrolling position set to the player's feet if you look here the the um, platforms the player is standing on look a little bit odd because the camera is exactly level with the top of those 3D shapes and it, it might not be the kind of appearance that you really want. Uh, and a good way to solve that is with the new vanishing point setting. You can now move the vanishing point up a little bit and that means that now when you view the game uh, you can now see the surface of the 3D shape that the player is standing on. So this might be a more appropriate kind of view uh, for your game. And as noted, this is not changing the angle of the camera, uh, so everything in your game will still remain flat and it won't sort of distort anything else in your game with perspective as long as they're flat. For example, the player here remains uh, displaying exactly the same as it did regardless of the vanishing point. So those are just two quick uh, uses for the vanishing point. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy playing with that. Next up, I'm just going to very quickly talk about a new layer Z elevation setting in the editor. Uh, so previously you could change the Z elevation of uh, entire layers at runtime and of objects in the editor. And now there's a Z elevation setting for layers in the editor as well. So I've just got a quick example of uh, Kiwi Story here. I'm going to take one of the background layers and just uh, move it back on the Z axis and I'm going to take another background layer and move that a little bit further back as well. And now you have uh, a true 3D appearance with the layers um, at different positions on the z-axis. And this is, is, as you can see, it looks similar to parallax, but this is a true 3D effect as opposed to parallax just slowing down the scroll rate of uh, individual layers. So that's another cool uh, kind of quick 3D effect you can get in your games by just moving entire layers up and down on the z-axis in the editor. Uh, one more thing I'll very quickly mention is uh, related to scrolling as well. There's new actions that you can scroll layers independently of each other. So now in system actions there's a set layer scroll action and this will let you pick just one layer and scroll it anywhere you like. So previously all the layers would have to scroll uh, all together uh, based on where the layout is scrolled to and things like parallax could alter that but not give you complete freedom. 
This action now gives you complete freedom to scroll any individual layer anywhere you like within the layout. And once you do that, it will stop scrolling with the layout and you can restore the default behavior where layers scroll with the layout using the restore layer scroll action. The only other thing I'll mention in this video to save on time is as usual, we've got lots of cool new examples that you can try out and several of these also are great demos of the new 3D features we've added. Uh, for example, here's the uh, uh, rocket barrel template. It's a really cool sort of simple use of the 3D shape object to make an interesting gameplay mechanic. And uh, two more I want to quickly show you. Here's uh, vehicle switching. Um, some of us might remember this kind of style of game uh, from the early days of a popular game franchise. And uh, it's another good demo of how the 3D shape object can be used to give a quick 3D appearance to your game. And lastly, I just want to show you a really cool demo of how you can use the news, the newer scene graph and timelines feature. So this is a big boss fight with lots of segments uh, independently animating and this combines both scene graph uh, to connect the pieces together and timelines to animate the uh, boss enemy as a whole. So this is a really cool demo, you should definitely go and check that out uh, along with all the other new ones. That's all I'm going to mention in this video. As ever, there's plenty more new things which you can see if you check out all the full release notes um, and we'll be bringing you more updates in future. Thanks for listening.